everyone, Arlene here. Welcome back to my Country Craft Corner. How in the world are you guys doing today? It is so good to see you again and thank you so, so much for stopping back by to see what I'm up to. And I'm excited today, you guys, because this is something that I wasn't planning. Things like this come up all the time though. <laughs> So let me tell you a little story. First, I'm gonna be working on a vignette for my foyer of all places. I bought myself a new little table from Hobby Lobby. You know, their furniture is always 30% off and this table was a little bit damaged. So I asked the manager there, hey, do you think you could give me a little bit more off of this? And she said, sure. So she took some more off of it. So I paid uh, about $79 for a little table that I'll show you and it's gonna sit y'all know where my big re, uh, big uh, vase and then my Salvation Army Lantern is sitting on the one side well this is gonna go on the other side up against the wall right underneath the picture well I'll tell you what spurred this idea on for one thing Sam he is so good, you guys, my big Newfie Sam, my brown Newfie Sam. He never rushes the door. Sam never rushes anywhere. <laughs> Sam is super duper 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 calm. And, you know, when he hears the doorbell ring, he'll kind of perk his head up. And he'll go, oh, somebody's at the door. Woof, woof. Now, there are times when he'll run to the windows the dining room windows, not the living room windows, but the dining room windows. He'll run over there and he'll, and I'll tell you, he does, if he does see somebody, he'll do the big bellowing, you know, <laughs> hounds of the Bas Baskervilles kind of a bark. He will do that. And I almost had a FedEx guy just step right off the porch backwards one time. I felt like I needed to reach out and catch him. You know, it was terrible. But normally Sam does not rush the front door. He will rush over, as quickly as he rushes to the dining room, as I say, but not the front door. So anyway, now that Miss Sophie and Miss Gracie are gone, I feel like I can do a little bit more decorating in there. But I didn't have plans to do anything quite yet in there. I hadn't thought about anything that I wanted until uh, y'all know that I ordered lamps for, let me put a picture here, for my dresser in our bedroom. And remember I had bought one and I thought, oh, I need another one. And so I ordered one from Hobby Lobby. Well, when it got here, it was broken, you guys. It was broken, the base was broken from the bottom and it didn't come with this piece at all to hold the lampshade on, you know? So, I called Hobby Lobby and I explained everything to Hobby Lobby's customer service and they were very sweet about it and sent me out another one right away, rushed it to me. So as you guys saw, I put up a picture and my dresser is now completely done and with both lamps in place. But they told me go ahead and keep the lamp that came broken, much like Kirkland's did with all those lanterns for y'all, you know. Only I was the lovely recipient of the broken piece this time. <laughs> so, I kept the lamp and Chris was able to fix the lamp. He super glued it together. I don't know whether you can see where he super glued it, but it was broken right well, there. You can kind of see it catching the light. It was broken right in there. And it just, it was in two pieces, you guys. Complete two pieces when it came. And as I said, it didn't come with this piece at all, which is what holds this pretty lampshade on. So I got a bunch of lamps down in my, um, basement so i went down there and i just said well uh, we kept saying every time we went out we were like oh we need to get that you know thing that we can hold the lampshade on that lamp with oh we keep forgetting it oh we're idiots we keep forgetting this you know well, i thought well i'm the idiot i said let me go downstairs and look at some of these lamps i bet you i have something that'll work so i think this is gonna work i haven't tried it yet but we're gonna see here if i can get it to work here we go that fit on there Make it straight there we go and I just found a finial on top of one of my uh, black lamps but it pairs good enough with this those I think I believe have cream but this I think will pair beautifully with it and when you see what else I'm gonna put in this same vignette you'll see that this it'll work out fine so let me see if I can get this on here we go and 
And I think that's, what do they say? Rob Peter to pay Paul. <laughs> that's about what I did here. I pulled a couple of different, different little things together and got myself a little lamp. So this will go up on top of the table and I'm fixing to do a haul and then we're gonna do a little crafting in this video. Woohoo! I haven't done any crafting in a little while, huh? I'm excited. I love to do crafts. <laughs> After all, this is Arlen's Country Craft Corner, right? Oh, I had to, I couldn't, I couldn't not, I had to. <laughs> oh, I'm giddy today, I'm so sorry, you guys. All right, let's see. Uh, I went into Hobby Lobby is where I got the table, as I said, I think I said that. So I just picked up a couple of other little things while I was in there thinking, what could I do with this table? I don't have a lot of spring slash Easter decor left. I've used it all in my house, honest to Pete, you guys, I have. So. I didn't buy much, but I did buy a few things. I bought this little bunny, and this is kind of a smaller version. You know, the ones that Danielle used uh, in that beautiful display that she made for her kitchen table. Oh my gosh, I love that. Was that not pretty? Danielle's decor. If you guys get a chance, go over, check out Danielle at Danielle's decor, beautiful. Let me just scatter off a couple of names here for you guys. Danielle at Danielle's Decor, Kim over there at Sweet Daisy Creations, Kim down there at My Feathered Nest, Dee over there at uh, My Feathered Cottage, uh, I could go Deco Easy, I could go on and on, you guys, Susan at Susan's Cozy Condo, um, who am I? I don't want to forget anybody. <laughs> Kiki, go see Kiki. I mean, there are many, many, many lovely ladies. And of course, my sweet lady friend Liz over there at Traditions by the Seasons, who just does awesome, beautiful work. I'm telling you, I am privileged. I feel privileged to be a member of this YouTube crafting community, you guys. I feel blessed. And off on that tangent, I went. Oh my goodness. If I have forgotten anybody, please forgive me. Uh, I love you all and watch you as much as I can, you guys. <laughs> we creators, you guys, are so busy that it's hard for us to go watch each other sometimes. We try, but it's hard <laughs> when we're so busy with our own channels. But this is like the little brother or sister of the, I have him up there, I have one, that Danielle has two of them. I have one sitting up there from last year, up there on my, maybe I'll give you a better picture of where he's sitting up there on my desk. But I got one of these and he was $17.99, $18, 50% uh, off out of the Easter. You know, so I got him to sit with this table and this lamp too. And then I picked up this bowl and it's wrought iron. This table has a bit of wrought iron on it. It's wood and wrought iron. So I picked this up and I thought, boy, how pretty is that? This It's not a huge table and actually this and that lamp are gonna be on the top and that's about all. But this is one thing I'm going to do today on camera here. I'm going to decorate this up. I don't know exactly what I'm doing yet, but I've picked up some stuff and we're going to poke around and see what we can get done in this pretty bowl. So I love it. And it was, oh, I took the price tag off. I believe it was $24.99 half price though. Metal was half off when I bought this. So pretty, huh? So then I bought... Another thing of this green garland that I was touting in my last video, my last uh, haul video, not my last cruising video. <laughs> I've got so many irons in my fire, I don't know which way I'm turning, you guys, goodness gracious. But another one of these uh, garlands, and I'm gonna cut off a bit of it and put it around a candle, and I'll show you where that's gonna go in just a second. Anyway, I thought this was super pretty, and this, this is gonna go, a little bit of this is gonna go down in this bowl. And it's kind of like a dough bowl, dough bowl, isn't it? Only in wrought iron. I love it. Different, I love different, you know? I love different things. Then, so that's all I got from Hobby Lobby. That's all I got from Hobby Lobby was the table, which I'll show you, uh, and the bunny and that bowl. So then today I walked into and that, and I was just looking for a couple of other bunnies. Not necessarily Easter bunnies, because as I mentioned in that other craft haul video, I want this decor to go through into May a little bit, y'all. 
Uh, and I think it will easily do that and not look very Eastery. I think that I can get away with all this decor, you know, up until I start changing things out for my patriotic. So I walked into and that, and I was looking for some bunnies, just, but not necessarily Easter bunnies, but just some bunnies. And kind of in their garden section, I guess it kind of is in their garden section. I found these, look at these little bunnies. Aren't they just adorable? Oh my goodness. They're so cute. I don't know whether he's get fixing to kiss her on the cheek or get fixing to tell her a secret. <laughs> I don't know. It was $5 for that. And then I got these two. <laughs> Tickling her belly there. It's so cute. You know how they get to romping and playing. Aren't they cute? So I got two sets of little bunnies. And then I got this little bunny with a little birdie sitting on her. <laughs> and you can see she's kind of got a little bit of gold tinge to her. Kind of, this is all gonna pair together, I hope. I don't know about these. I, hopefully I can get all this to work together. <laughs> you know me, I go, I, I am eclectic. And I like to say that sometimes because I really don't think like, like for instance, my mom thought, you know, about decor. I don't think about, you know, I, I don't know. I mix and match a lot of stuff, old and new and different colors and different textures. But I, it's what I love about the creative process. So this guy was really cute, I thought, uh, $8. Again, in the same section, like in the garden center section, kind of, where they have like the cherubs and the birds and the frogs and that kind of stuff sitting, you know. I got her, him, her, whatever it is. And then, y'all remember the white lantern I got that sits over on my subwoofer? They had a black one, you guys, exactly like it. Look at that. And it is similar. Kim just painted the, the ones that I was just referring to from Kirkland's. She painted hers black. Uh, two of her extra ones, she painted hers black and they looked really pretty, but I found this one for $12.99. It's not the same, it's not exactly the same. This has crisscrosses. It's not, this isn't as tall as that lantern. I'm looking at it because it's over there. Sorry, my red one from Kirkland's. But $12.99, y'all, can't beat that for a nice metal lantern. And Chris um, made the, the glass tight in there for me. He said, give me that, and I went, okay. So he fixed it. So I got this black lantern, and this is gonna go on the bottom shelf. I think the, this table has a little bottom shelf. Hopefully it will fit in there okay. I hope. And I don't know whether the rest of this stuff is gonna go on this table, but I, I really uh, liked these. Oh, little gold candlesticks. And I know that the galvanized lantern is galvanized, but I, I picked up this bunny and I thought, how pretty would these all pair together in black wrought iron, you know? So that's why I went ahead and picked these up. I was standing there and I had cream color ones like this color, I hauled these the other day. Uh, you know, they had this color and this color. And I was like, which do I want? Which do I want? Which do I want? And I had already picked up this bunny and I was like, well, it would pair with either one, but I wanted something different, you know? So I got the gold ones, gold candlesticks, and they were $8 a piece. I got two, $8 a piece. And you can put tapers, skinny tapers, or tapers like this in them. I also got two candles like this, and these are the same candles that I have throughout my decor. I'm pulling all decor throughout the whole house. So I got these two that will go in there. And they'll go somewhere, maybe one on the bottom shelf, maybe one on the top, maybe both on the top, I'm not sure. But this goes inside the lantern. So I pulled out of my coffers, out of my garage, I pulled out some just some florals that I had left over when I was doing my decor. I'm really not adding a lot of different colors in. I really want to keep with the pink. I'm going to make a pink bow, just a two loop, two tailed bow to go on this lantern 
with my maiden hair fern, you guys. That pairs beautifully with the with that garland. It's just going to go draping down one side, again, mimicking what I did on the subwoofer, pulling that decor into the foyer, you know, kind of different colors, a couple of different textures, but basically the same, you know, the same feel of decor. All right, so let me get myself situated here, and we're going to come back, and we're going to tie this for maiden fair hair fern on the lantern and make a little bow, and then I'm going to make this arrangement in this little rod iron dish. So let me get myself situated, and I'll be right back. Oh, I forgot these. Hang on. Here's Chris. <laughs> uh, I got these three uh, placemats to be used as, like, little runners, so... Um, they were $2.49, I believe. Yeah, $2.49 a piece, and they're the same. They're kind of a peachy pink, and they're the same things I have in the family room uh, and on my subwoofer. The same things. They still had some left. I was thrilled. So, got those. All right, let me get myself situated. <laughs> I'm yammering. And I'll be right back, and we'll get, some, get to doing a little bit of crafting. All right, be right back. Okie dokie, you guys. I'm back. And the very first thing I want to do is to make a little flower ring or a little greenery ring for around this candle to go inside this lantern. So I'm simply just going to measure a bit of this around. Just about that much. My snippers. Get a snip. And then I'm just simply going to, I'm actually going to take a tie wrap, tie it together. I'm going to tie it between where a couple of the, of the shoots shoot up from it so it doesn't separate on us like it just did. And how simple and easy but pretty is that? Here we go. Inside the lantern. I don't want to put any flowers in there right now. I don't know whether I will, but I think that looks super pretty, just like that. Here we go. Okay, that's done. <laughs> Okay, now I want to take a little bit of this pink ribbon and I just want to make a two loop, two tailed bow. This is simple, 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 very easy. Find the end of your ribbon and fold it or, or yeah, fold it over towards yourself. And picture how big you want your loop to be. I don't want mine to be about that big. But I've, you can see I've left a bunch here too. So when I come down here and I pull this up, I'm going to overlap where I tie it together. See that? So I overlap so that I have, and I overlapped a good bit, but I'm going to pinch it up here so it doesn't fall apart. I'm going to pinch it together just like that. And that makes my two loops right like that. And I want to do a center loop, so I just twist it to bring the right side up. And you can tell the right side on this because it's glittery, as I'll get out. And I just tie it right around my forefinger. See how I did that? I just twisted it right around my forefinger and caught it. I'm going to catch it underneath and kind of accordion it together. And that gives us our center loop. See that? And I'm going to twist again, and I just want two long tails. So I'm going to come out and pull it up. And I want it about as long as the lantern, so or as tall as the lantern. So I just pulled that up, and I'm going to pinch it together underneath. Get me a pipe planer and feed it through underneath the loop and beside my thumb. And then I'm lifting my thumb just a little bit and snugging it underneath my thumb, pulling that around the bottom and then around the top. 
and just going to tie that together very tightly. Twist, twist the bow, twist the pipe cleaner, twist, twist, twist. Now you can see, whoops, that leaves me with two, two loops and then one big loop that will make two tails. And then if I wanted a third tail, I could have a third tail, but I don't want a third tail. So I'm going to cut this up pretty short up here in the back and cut it off of the bolt like that. Okay, and that gives me two loops and then one long loop. And then I'm going to cut this in half and I'm going to wait to do the ends of it until I get it tied on to the lantern. First thing I want to do is tie this on to this lantern. And this might hang on the floor or it might hang to the floor. The, the shelf is not that far off the floor where I'm going to put this, but I'm just going to tie that right to this handle. I'm shoring it up with a second tie wrap. I didn't want to stay there. Okay, now, there we go. All I want to do is take my bow and figure out where I want to put it on here. I think I just want it right there. And yes, a little bow is going to be okay with me this time. <laughs> I swear, it is. Let me get it tied on here. wait until I get it out there and get it into place to cut these tails. Well, for now, I'll just cut them into dovetails. Just, you can do this one of different way, a couple different ways. Let's just go to the edge, or to the fold, fold it in half lengthwise, go to the fold and cut down toward the edge, and that makes a dove's tail. I had to reteach myself how to do this. I was cutting them toward my hand and somebody cut themselves and I felt really bad. So I changed my ways. Alrighty, I think that'll be really pretty. Just a ac little bit of an accent lantern on the bottom shelf of the table. I think that'll be super pretty. And I will arrange this so it's not hiding the lantern. Although that's not gonna be lit, not ever gonna be lit in there. So I will arrange it better once I get it. I might cut these up shorter, probably will, in fact, but we'll see when I get it out there. Okay, so there we go. That's done. So let me bring this over and see. I'm not sure what I wanna do with this, you guys, to be honest with you. I thought, I know I wanna use the rest of this in it. You know? I thought I might. Just simply set her down in there like that. That kind of looks cute. It's going to be sitting kind of like this on the table with the lamp over here. So kind of put her kind of facing out. It's kind of cute. Let her sit down in the kind of make her look like she's sitting up a little bit. That's cute. Okay, and literally, all the only the other thing I'm going to do is add some flowers around her, you guys. I think that's it. These are just flowers I had left over. 
from my spring decor that I never used. I did not buy them for this project. Again. And lighter pink, you know. Now I'm just going to start placing some flowers. This is all I have. I'm not going to go like flowers, flowers, flowers everywhere. I'm just going to kind of set them very gently around her. of these are just kind of more in the pink hue. These are kind of peony. This is a whole bunch right there. I don't know whether I want those. I might just like to do just some simple, very soft. I don't even want all of those in. They're in one big bunch here, but I don't want them to be that big of a bunch. Just a touch, you know. just have some of these. This is all I carried in here, so this is all I'm going to do, you guys. Honest. <laughs> I hope. Just a little of this here and there. Let's see what we come up with. have much more. I'm going to use it all though. That'll be it. That's all I have. <laughs> so that'll be all I use. <laughs> it's pretty. I'm going to go with my theme, you know, less is more, although these are really pretty. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to need them, though. Just one more thing there, you know? Just a little something. Do I need them on the ends? <laughs> I don't know. I'm terrible. Notice I'm taking the green off. 
because I need my greens to, to pair better than that pairs with it. I think this is more of a blue green. I don't even know where I got these. I think Michael's. Just to pull a bit of the pink in the back there like that. That, my friends, is it. <laughs> Looks really pretty, huh? Love it. All right. Okie dokie, everybody. I'm back. And I have everything set into place the way I want it, I think. And I'm going to take you out there and show you this little table. It's not a big deal, honestly. Uh, but I'm really happy with how it worked out. I'll tell you, I just love putting together little vignettes like this. It just makes my day. It makes me happy. It makes my heart full <laughs> to do decorating. Decorating is definitely my passion. I love it. I love to decorate. I like to craft, yes, but I love to decorate. You know, and I, I didn't even realize that I loved it so much. And I should have when I was younger because I remember I would go, oh, I need to start cleaning the house today. I gotta get the house clean, but I really wanna do this. I really wanna decorate the mantle, or I really wanna decorate this, or I really wanna switch things out for the season. You know, so I would hurry through and, and in my other house, I used to start in the master bathroom and work my way all the way through the house and clean the whole house in one day. And then I'd leave myself like an hour before the kids got home to do some decorating, you know? And this is way before I had a YouTube channel. But I remember doing that back then, and I, I really never thought that it was a passion of mine. But now that I've, I've started this YouTube and really have embraced my decorating and embraced decorating for the seasons even more than I did when I was younger, and I have the time now too, you guys. I have the time, and you know, I love doing it. I absolutely love doing it. So this doing this type of little vignette just it made my day full. It made my day, I, made me happy. <laughs> so I'm going to take my camera down and I'm going to walk you over and show you the little table and show you our foyer. And we've decided we're going to leave this little light on, the lamp on all the time. Chris said it's an LED uh, light bulb he gave me to put in there. He said it doesn't cost much money to leave it lit and it's really not a fire hazard. So we're going to leave it lit all the time. And I love that. I love to have a light on, you know, around the house. So anyway, well, you know, I love my lights. <laughs> I don't have to say that. But anyway, I wanted to do my final words here while I'm looking at you because I don't like to do them behind the camera. I like to do them when I can look you in the eyes, so to speak. But so first, let me, let me say, say thank you guys so much for stopping in here today. I so appreciate your time and you coming by and sitting and watching what I was up to over here. Thank you so much. So let me just say to those of you who are struggling or suffering with a catastrophic illness or chronic pain, I hope that you have someone there with you, taking care of you, helping you get through each day, making the very, very best out of each day. I hope there's nothing weighing on your minds or your hearts, pulling your attention away from where you want it to be or from where it should be. I love you all to bits, to bits, to bits, hugs all around, and I keep you in my thoughts and my prayers every single day. And with all that said, I'll just say, until next time, but hang on, because I'm going to go over here and show you the final product with this little vignette and this little foyer table. But with all that said, I'll just say, until next time, y'all take good, good care. Bye-bye. Okie dokie, you guys. Here we are. Here's all my stuff to go outside whenever I get to that. <laughs> but here's my foyer. Here we go. And this is the little table I got. Again, from Hobby Lobby. And it fits beautifully right here in my foyer. My foyer is not huge. Back off here. Definitely not huge. 
I mean, this part of the foyer is big, obviously, you know, but right there beside the doors, it's always kind of stumped me, and it's been okay because of the dogs, you know, I never really wanted to put anything in there, but I think this is just perfect. It's just perfect, and I wanted to tie this in with this decor over here, and I think it does it beautifully without being over the top, and so Stop. I love it. I absolutely love it. You can see everything that I showed you. There's the lamp and my little arrangement. My candlestick, one up there and then one down there. And my lantern. And you can see I cut the tails to the bow pretty short. I like that better. And the fern kind of hangs onto the floor, which is fine. And there's the other couple of bunnies. <laughs> I love it. I only ended, ended up only using two of these. I didn't want to, I didn't want anything coming down over the side of this. So I just put one kind of just for the arrangement and then one on the bottom in the middle. So that's it, you guys. I'm very happy with how this worked out. Alrighty. I'll say it again. Love y'all to bits to bits to bits. Until next time, y'all take good care. Bye-bye.